More optimizations became necessary as I started working on the brushes in the easel editor. The current implementation works fine on small sprites, where a brush only changes a few dozen pixels at once. On a high resolution image, a big brush can easily cover tens of thousands of pixels. With a hundred times more data, negligible processes like garbage collection become noticeable, so I had to minimize the number of short-lived objects and pre-allocate reusable variables. Even more, I now store the results, the coordinates of affected pixels, in a binary array, which is as close to the metal as you can get with memory management in JavaScript. The image rendering routine also needed a speedup. I was reusing my algorithm for shaded pixel art, which includes extra parameters and checks for use cases such as rendering normal maps. None of these functionality is needed to display an image as is, so I wrote a more straightforward variant that just copies color values to the output buffer. Further, when drawing an image stored with RGB colors instead of an index palette, you can omit color lookups. To enable the creation of artworks with direct color information, I modified the new artwork form to allow for custom properties. Sprites come with restricted colors by default, while canvases use palettes just for selecting initial colors. I also made pixel art scaling optional, which allows for better downsampling of high resolution canvases. Things work faster now, but more places remain that were designed with the ease of programming in mind, rather than efficient execution. I'll have to get to them next time.